tell me, Rocky, a little bit about the content creation process. Obviously, the world has changed dramatically from right. even five years ago. How are you creating content for these brands so that uh, you can do it in high volume, that social needs and digital needs, but it's still, at the same time, keep it affordable for you? About three years ago, we RFP'd our digital agencies, and we had about seven that ended up in the pot. And those seven were distributed across our 24 to 26 brands, um, the ones that are active. Since then, which doesn't seem that long ago, we've seen that model kind of crumble. These big agencies that are great, they're great at like these big emotional pieces, they're great at those, those uh, types of creative that win awards. Sometimes they're not as good at the day-to-day. -day. The first thing we did was bring social um, community management in-house. It no longer sits with our agencies, and so we can move a lot faster. Do you find yourself going in with, with one concept of what you want to market, throw a lot of creative out there, and then adjusting? It's a combination. So for those big tentpole activities, we still want to use our big digital agencies, right, because they do that the best. For if producing efficient content that falls into those pillars or buckets of activity that we want to do, we are um, expanding mm -hmm. to a bunch of different content creators, what we call kind of our content farm, where brands can call on them and produce content at scale. What does social do for Nestle on your brands that you're not necessarily getting from your other traditional marketing vehicles? There's a lot of integration that's happening, right? You can take your email list, give it to Facebook or give it to Twitter, and they can retarget people that have signed up and are kind of loyal to the brand because they actually want to receive emails for you. So that's pretty powerful. We spend the most with Google and Facebook, right? Um, hands down. It's not necessarily because of YouTube. It also includes search. Um, those are like where our first couple dollars are spent and not to not to forget search because the first digital sure. dollar is always spent in search. Pinterest is coming out with a lot of different interesting ad offerings now oh. that brands can really take advantage of. The other thing that Pinterest has uh, introduced recently is is search. Now you can buy paid search on Pinterest. This is really powerful. Before it was all about the organic nature of Pinterest. So this is something actually that Nestle is participating in the alpha for. So uh -huh. we'll see what the results are. And we're excited to see that. For Snap, like Pinterest, they were a little bit newer to the measurement game. Now that they've opened up the APIs of Q4 mm -hmm. last year, um, we can do a lot more. Before, you could only buy a custom lens on a national basis. Right. Now you can do it just for your target. So yeah. if I'm a 15-year-old boy, I may not get the same lens as sure. a 35-year-old okay, female. Then they're getting a lot better.